I've been told I look like a man. No, 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 no. They're right. I've got these big ass shoulders, big ass arms. I'm overweight for someone of my age and gender. No hate towards my body. I've been this way my whole life. From the ages of 7 to 16, I attended an all girls school that was very well known for the performing arts. Music, theatre, what have you. Now I love this sort of shit and I decided I wanted to give it a go. Which led me to my first discovery. You see, when you are a manly looking girl with short hair in an all girls school and you want to try performing on stage, most of the time you end up in roles that are traditionally written for men. It was okay at first. Then it got on my nerves. Every single school play, classroom skit, whatever, I was always cast as a guy. I played a coffee shop uncle, policeman, gangster, closet pervert. Once we did a scene from Miss Saigon, and I was the American soldier that Kim falls in love with because apparently, <laughs> apparently, I'm more likely to be a white guy than an Asian woman. After a while, I wanted more. More specifically, I wanted to play the most traditional, stereotypical, XX chromosome female character there was. Yes, I wanted to be a princess. I wanted to wear a long gown, wear a tiara. Oh my God, I wanted a tiara. But in an all-girls school, that dream was impossible. So I did the next best thing. I studied really hard, passed my O-levels of flying colours, and at the age of 17, got admitted to a very fancy Christian school, also very well known for the performing arts. Except this time, it was a co-ed school where male students outnumbered female students 18 to 1. You can see I make my own opportunities. To further increase my chances of playing a female character, I joined the most Christian, male-dominated society in school, the Boys' Brigade, which, which actually does let girls in at a certain level. Now, the Boys' Brigade was known for occasionally putting on performances where they would sing, dance, praise the Lord, and reenact stories from the Bible. The Bible is full of princesses. It really did seem that my dream was going to come true anytime soon. Then I had my second discovery. Somehow, for some reason, through some shift in the bloody universe, there was a bumper crop of female applicants for the Boys' Brigade that year. <laughs> Most cohorts have, out of 40 members, two or three girls, maximum. My year had 12. <laughs> now, I'm not a Christian. But in the face of such stiff competition from the people I thought were my sisters, I went home and I prayed for the very first time. I was like, God, God, for the love of you, why can't I catch a break? Why? And God came to me in my dreams that night. Yeah. And he told me, my child, I lead you through troubled waters because your enemies cannot swim. And I said, yes, God, neither can I. Appalled by my lack of life skills, God never spoke to me again. <laughs> so life went on, right? And soon enough, Easter rolled around. Easter is one of the biggest events for the Boys' Brigade. We were going to have a special church service, worship session, lunch was going to be catered for, and there was going to be a special Easter performance all of us would participate in. Each of us would play a character from the Bible with our senior officers assigning the roles. And I was most excited. I hope to be the Queen of Sheba, who I'm sure was a princess at some point, so it aligns with my goals. I also wouldn't have minded Jezebel, who was evil, but you know beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> then the roles were dished out. And because there were so many girls in the Bloody Boys Brigade, the female characters ran out pretty quickly. By the time they got to me, there wasn't even a shepherd's wife left. <laughs> Yet again, I was the only girl who did not get a female character. I had my third discovery, or should I say revelation, that day, ladies and gentlemen. You see, sometimes in life, things don't often go the way we plan. Never got to be a princess, never got to wear a tiara. But it's something I accept with grace, love, and humility. 
Because sometimes, your dreams of being an important figure, wearing important headwear, can come true in the strangest of ways. As mine did, because for the Boys' Brigade Easter performance, as a manly looking girl who just so happened to have longer hair, I was the perfect fit for the role of Jesus Christ with his crown of thorns. I'm not done, I'm not done. And you best believe, I played the hell out of that role. Thank you.